You ready to go back in time, bro? Back in time. Back in time with Chris Tucker, Jackie Chan. What's up? Will Smith. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, Money Talk is dope, though. It, it was underrated. Because a lot of people really fuck with Charlie Chan. Nah, for real. Charlie Chan ain't goofy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a goofball. He's a rich goofball. No, he has that same voice. The thing with Charlie Sheen, like, he just played him. Like, he knocked yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. No, Charlie that's what I'm Charlie saying. Bucks. He yeah. goofy. He a goofy. Like, he yeah. a goofy dude that got money. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. And that's what he played in Money Talks, but... Word. Money Talks was, was good, though. Yeah, it was. <laughs> My bad to throw you off. No, no, no. <laughs> it, it was a good movie, though. But what's that? You know... Uh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's another <laughs> TPSG... Wild ass tangent already, so, already. Now, dog. To, to, to off the I rip. Just got my last one. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <Boy>. So, <laughs> but um, yes, a lot of nostalgia movies lately. Yeah, Bad Boys and Rush Hour are getting another movie. Another sequel. Bad Boys is for sure. They showed a little mm-hmm. boomerang and uh-huh. everything. Right. It, that's happening, and it's still produced by or produced Michael, and directed by Michael Bay. He will okay. never. That's his good. That's his bloodline. Will good. it be based in Miami again? I really hope so. It better Miami be. needs it. Yeah. <laughs> Miami really needs it. We I have need a, a I need a cameo. Hey, shout, yeah. oh, shout out, Prez. Hey. You know what? Let, let's not go any further. And be rude. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> It's a new voice on the podcast. It is not Boomaya. He's still on his hot <laughs> But we have a very special guest. Word. Shout out, North Miami. Miami. Word. <laughs> yes, sir. One love. Word. To that From boy. the camp. Word. The camp. Prez the OGs P. remember that. Uh, we gonna bring My nigga, back. Prez P. What it do, y'all boys? What's Welcome. happening? What's chilla, happening? Chilla, Appreciate man. you coming through. Word. Yes, sir. Word. Thanks Appreciate for having you. me, man. Oh, absolutely. It's been... Long overdue. Yes, sir. But you know, oh. niggas got bills and bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I was That's supposed to. I was supposed to, to be with. here for uh, what it was. The ugly sweater. Oh, ugly yeah. oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. big shout out everybody that came. Everybody that couldn't make it. No sure. problem. You make the next one. And we might have another one in the works for Black History Month, y'all. Oh yeah. True. Keep y'all calendars open. We're gonna have you know soul yeah. food. Everything. Word. So I'm gonna get, get my sweater ready ahead of time. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. We'll but uh, the we can't call black. them Bill Cosby sweaters so, anymore now. Whoa, oh God, yeah, wow. they're so just man. ugly sweaters. Yeah, <laughs> yeah ugly sweaters. Damn. It's crazy. Ew. You know, <laughs> you know. I kind of feel how Dave Chappelle feels about Bill Cosby. Like, damn, one of my heroes is a fucking creep. Yeah, fuck. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Is he really a creep though? All right, we don't know. As they know, I'm the resident conspiracy theorist. Me too. So I've read up on that. However, however, in this particular situation, there's more evidence that says he is a creep than not. And I've been I've been researching both. Because when I first heard, I was like, this man raped 70 women? That's a large number of anything. Mm -hmm. He raped 70 women. I'm like, yo, that is a heavy accusation. Mm -hmm. I gotta research this. Yeah. Because Obviously, crazy, I'm going yeah. off the, ex- yeah, exactly. I'm going off the image that I know Bill Cosby has a TV show. But damn, mm. you know what I'm saying? I feel him. He's like, word. damn, I looked up to him. I want to, I wanted to be in the Huck schools. But if you want to be a conspiracy theorist, mm-hmm. which you are, you could go with all the running conspiracies because every mm-hmm. time he tried to purchase NBC or uh-huh. something big that mm-hmm. would get, that put him in a position of power and mm-hmm. influence uh-huh. yeah. amongst they a large part of the population, they, they, the... they did something to him specifically. Word. Yeah. I, I definitely feel like the timing had something to do with that, but mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. He could still be a creep. Yeah. Yeah. And but they then, just stop at him from doing shit. I don't shit. know, though. You got to look at it. Yeah, that's what I was about to say, because if you look at, like. And the timing of everything, like mm-hmm. you said. Yeah, that's what that's what throws it off, because. Niggas could have just right. been partying. You're right. And now they're going to take it back to, oh, nah, he raped me. What? 70 exactly. women? It, I was a all, I'm a young, rich black man. I can got TV show before he even had the Cosby show. He had a TV show. Yeah, he was on I Spy, I Spy like, yeah. Mm-hmm. And he was, Albert, he was a like, yeah, fat you know Albert. Albert. So, yeah, he was mm-hmm. making movies at Sydney. I don't Point. know, man. Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, respect to all the women involved. It could be true. It could. Be, I, I don't know. I don't yeah. want to take it away from it. But when I, I when I hear things like that, I just tend to look. Like away from it real quick and be like, hold on, mm, yeah. What's exactly. really, like what uh, what else could be going on in this situation? You know what I'm saying? Because like, right. yeah, you got to look at it, and that's how you got to approach life. Crazy, because it's the same thing with R. Kelly mm-hmm. right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. 
But it's the thing similar, is, but there is evidence of like, of our or at least yeah. accusations. I guess I don't know. Mm. And no, no, evidence is evidence. Yeah, yeah. Evidence, evidence, evidence is evidence. R. Kelly. Yeah, but we're, yeah, R. Kelly. The, the thing is, we've been new about him, but for some odd reason, <coughs> mm. they mm. want to make a documentary about him now. Now, <coughs> now they make the argument that you know a victims suffer. For something else. No, no, they say victims suffer and they don't want to come out immediately. I understand that. Yeah. But sometimes timing but, is crazy. But everything at the same Man, I mean, what's done in the dark gonna come to light. That's what oh, everybody always, yeah. so always it's gonna happen to all of us eventually. Everything mm-hmm. you did gonna come back and haunt you. But yeah, mm-hmm. sure. Who knows Absolutely. that it's because it's happening now, but it's the same thing with Bill. Seventy mm-hmm. women at one time. Mm-hmm. So that's crazy. And he thought he was that skating. shit come back. Yeah. yeah. You just gotta right. do good, man. In his twilight years. Yeah, yeah, man. Do good in every situation, man. Yeah. Right. That's wisdom from Miami. And learn from your mistakes, please. <laughs> right. Excuse me. But that was a TBSZ intellectual tension. <laughs> <laughs> I went on that limb on my own. You did. I'm you proud did. of you, bro. Are we going to make that yeah. a thing? That should be mi- mi- a thing. Going out uh, on the limb? I feel, but I feel tangent. like... A going on a limb... Ta- no, I'm kidding. I'm but kidding. I feel <laughs> like all our tangents are intellectual. Uh, nah. Sometimes. Nah. I give it a 50-50. <laughs> Both of them. Y'all boys got to start pulling out the blazers and stuff during those those segments. Bruh, just bro, just I got bro. one ready. Y'all, we, <laughs> we should start the breakaway suits. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then we done. <laughs> Word. Hello, and welcome to TPSG. I've been, I've been looking for an excuse to get a breakaway suit. So we going to do bro. this? Hey, I'm ready. We, if you can find a three-piece Armani breakaway suit. Armani? I'll Hold sponsor. On. That boy trying to flex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Armani. I'm Armani. trying to sponsor. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I was thinking about going on Wish. Word. <laughs> so oh, you'll find no plug, Wish, no but plug, no plug. points. Supporter so dramatic can get his Versace. Armani. Break Sorry, break man, low-key, I wouldn't be right this without saying this. My dad a tailor, so if y'all need suits... Ever. Oh, bro, look at that. Yeah, nah, my I dad a tailor. Tailors, my like, dad been sure. around the world making clothes, dog. Nah, I'm I'm that's what's up, dog. I'm, I'm, that's what's I'm up. coming to your pop. Nah, real talk. <laughs> my dad will get you right. Like, yeah, I got yeah. some shit. You want to shout his uh, business out? Just yeah, just uh, Terrain Customs on Instagram. There you Terrain go. Cu- yeah. Terrain Customs. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll put it in the um, T-U-R-E-N-N-E. Oh, yeah. Customs. Yeah, I'm going to text you to put it in, too. Tareen Customs. T-U-R-E-N-N-E. Yeah. Big shout out. Papa Prez. Support. Black business. Yes. Period. Absolutely. Period. Put Absolutely. Your, put your money and where support. where you would where, in something that you would want to invest in. Put and even back into yourself. Even deeper than that, invest in your community. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. a lot of people like don't support you until they see you have a, a, a level of success. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of fucked up. Because you'd reach that level of success faster if, if the people you around support you would support you <laughs> first. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 yeah, but it also takes like the 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 person too. Like you got to mm. do it on the solo tip because mm. in this life I realize it too. Like even with the team and everything, like if everybody pulling their own weight and doing what they got to do, it's gonna move. You know mm. what I'm saying? So sometimes right. it do take one person to have a spark of an idea and really act yeah. on it and True. go out the, on the limb first. You feel me? Mm. So yeah. just, that's one thing you just gotta always be ready to just try something new first. I'm yeah, all, put away I'm your fears. I'm always right. on that. Yeah. Speaking of starting from the beginning, mm-hmm. I'm gonna say something, and I'm gonna need you to finish it. Damn, bro. <laughs> so if I go, oh shoot, it's a photo shoot. Hey, hey. hey. I ain't gonna forget that. <laughs> <laughs> you got, bro, that funny funny like story, bro. <laughs> Years ago, man, I was at a pageant at Barry, mm-hmm. and we seen y'all perform that. That's the first time yeah. I seen y'all. I think you ain't had no dress, yeah. no nothing. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. you had a hat on. And y'all was out there performing. I'm like, oh shit, this shit kind of rock. That? This was like oh nine. Yeah, oh nine. Oh, okay. yo, we used to be at Barry like we went to the school. <laughs> we used to see, yo, so yeah. It wasn't us. That was, it was a group of us from FIU that was there. By X was in the pageant, mm-hmm. and we still we would sing that song on the bus on the way to conference. Oh, we were like, lit. oh shoot, it's, it's a, a photo, photo shoot. shoot. Nah, that song was crazy. And then I was like telling, them, hey, hey, that's my homeboy people. <laughs> see, that was our way back then. Like yeah. that was the uh, low key. That's how we took off because. We would be at the colleges. We went to Miami Dade, but we used to go to Barry because mm-hmm. Zito, big brother, played ball for Barry. Okay. So he knew everybody. He was, he was a basketball in player. There. So anytime it was something going on, we used to be at his dorm room chilling all, all the day. All the women at Barry. <laughs> I met some of the baddest chicks at Oh, yeah. By because, far. And we had them. So it was like, <laughs> and we was making songs for them. Like, they knew, like, certain... So they was pushing our shit. So you got girls from, from Mississippi and... Freaking New York and Jersey and Cali 
going home every time you're they go home expanding. and they taking our music with them. You feel word, me? Word, and word. at the time, it's like MySpace and Twitter was just taking off, kind of. Oh, oh shout now, out you feel yeah, it was just that. So time. niggas <laughs> had Facebook and we had MySpace, and then we started getting Twitter because chicks was telling us about it. And yeah. nigga, what? Twitter helped us too. Like, yo, we started popping off that shit. Like, we. Yeah. We're supposed to do Howard Homecoming in like a year of just putting out music. That's crazy. Damn, Damn like, that's crazy. Yeah, we was gonna do Howard Homecoming. That's big. That's what's that's up. Big, I remember big. I remember getting one of y'all CDs at um remember White Room? Mm-hmm. Mm. That that's another OG spot. Because <laughs> that shit changed like eleven times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's all type of shit. Yeah. Like eleven times. But yeah, I remember um seeing somebody perform um it, it, it was one of them. I don't remember if it was you, but it was, it was somebody from the camp. And then you know it's past Probably like Lucci. CDs. Yeah, I think it was I think it was Lucci. And I still got that CD to this day. Dog. I can't find it, but I know I can. Bro, <laughs> bro those CDs was another CDs essential. Too, those was another essential cuz we would just get like CDs every week and then we was buying them and then we was like, "Yo, we should just get a machine." Yeah. And we got yeah. the machine and we was making our own CDs, dog. It, to this day, like my homeboys are hit me up. He like, "Dog, I hate you, dog. I fucking hate you. I'm like, what happened, bro? He's like, I was at a girl crib and she had all y'all CDs on the table. I'm like, damn, bro. So you mad, bro? Like, I don't even know the chick, bro. But yo, everywhere we went, that was how you that's how you would talk to girls, bro. Here go a CD. You know what I'm saying? Talk to a chick. You meet people at a party, the people leaving the party, giving them CDs, going to college, just giving them CDs. Then we had girls who was just down to do that for us, bro. So that's how we was popping, like, I don't know. We was lit. That's what's up. But when that's you just be genuine and you yeah. start doing your thing, then fuck it, it's going to work. Oh, yeah, don't sure, force it on sure. people. Yeah. For yeah. sure, for sure, for sure, for that's sure. That's a lot of artists' biggest mistake, though, is like push it in your face. You and then we had a crib, like later on, after like a few albums, we ended up having a crib and like, yo, know, we had a crib with a pool in the back. So we was having mm. parties every week. Oh, that's yeah. what um, Nick shot. Uh, What's the name of the song? I think. Oh shit! I know yeah, yeah. that Luke uh, shot, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, what you call it? Slap. What you call it? He said it, it, um, the course was wrong. The course was like. I know what song you talking left, about. Was off the left surface? hand on the gap. Yeah, right yeah, 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 yeah. Nick's Nick's got too much songs. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah! Shout out, Big shout Nick. out, J. Yeah. J. Nick, man, Big Nick, my Nick's. brother, bro. Daddy Tiggers and Southern so. niggas ain't slow, <laughs> man. Y'all remember that shit? Stimulus package. Yeah. And y'all Conscious. niggas, all y'all niggas came up at the same time, and yeah. that's what I really liked about that. Like, yeah, that it wasn't Miami. only, yeah, the new Miami. That's what they call it. Mm-hmm. Oh, it wasn't only one of y'all. It was a, you know, Knicks, you, old fresh James, fresh <laughs> way. Denzel was coming up, coming at that up time. right there. Puya, Nell, um, everybody, Nell. Yeah. Um, you had niggas like, um, remember LMS? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That nigga was like the immortal technique of Miami. Nah, cause we knew like. We was coming up in that era of the internet, so we already saw exactly. like while like Raider Clan was doing their thing, mm-hmm. our future was doing their thing. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? We saw how yeah. it was where everybody was together, and then it was weird. Like all the rappers, like that, I could tell you, like all the rappers you just named, we all met each other and looked at each other, like, damn, bro, I can't believe it's somebody similar to me from here. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, Quest. that's really what, yeah, Quest, Quest who's not similar to you. You know what I'm saying? Shout out. We all shout out like that's that's gonna be the raw thing about it. Like, it's so new still, even though now like it's so many artists that's from here that done went to the billboards and then went sold out shows and platinum yeah. plaques yeah. people from florida so it's big now but yeah it's still new relatively bro yeah oh yeah <coughs> it just happened so quickly because of the gap between they don't a taste of because of the gap name. between um trick daddy and pitbull exactly. and flow rider them that exactly. gap between them to us it, right. it was so much stuff developing and brewing because of what them boys was doing like mm-hmm. seeing like those artists coming up, making their own labels and yeah. doing from yeah. the crib. Like, of course, we had the crib watching. I was home watching. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember being at home and like seeing Nicks and Fresh on freaking DJBooth.com. I'm like, dog, what? How yeah, you yeah, you crazy. yeah. You feel me? Like, co- yeah, people are going on tour, but niggas. Like so I'm like, crazy. yo, it's getting, getting it's getting sick. And I'm at the crib. This is like. I don't even know what year, bro. I I always was recording at my house. Like we always mm-hmm. had a little situation, like on the computers and shit. Even if it was shitty, we mm-hmm. still was putting shit out, and it still was getting looks. But right. we was always just at the crib, still working, not putting nothing out yet, though. Just like still working, still yeah. working, and then eventually, like 
like little things like ciphers brought niggas together, bro. Mm, like, that's what's up. That's pure. You know what I'm saying? Dog, like bro. Saturday, that's just going to some shoe shit. store and then just 30 rappers from Miami. I can't believe it. Like, it's yeah. 30 rappers and everybody in this bitch, some niggas spitting writtens. And then I come out and start freestyling, and then everybody yeah. will start freestyling for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and we got dope. close like that. That's just literally how it happened with a lot of them, from from Knicks to Puya. Mm. Like, oh wow, that's literally how oh, that shit happened. That's literally how that shit happened. No lie. So like. That's crazy. And, and then while we over here in our corner working, niggas is over here in their corner working on their own. Yeah, shit. nobody's and stopping. And niggas is over yeah. here working on their own shit. And niggas is over here working yeah. on their own shit. So right. now to see it the way it is, I know this next these coming years about to be sick for the future, yeah. bro. Oh, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Y'all put the curb on. That's yeah. huge. You right. got people yeah. like Sylvan who really getting his buzz now. Yeah, yeah. Right. Denzel. And, Shop. Rip Denzel Kirk. No, no, sorry. I was Den- gonna say, um, Sylvan's going to. He's performing that role Rolling out. Hell yeah! yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, and you and of course, you performed that role. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Prez. Yeah. I, yeah, I did the first Rolling Out ever, and then I did Miami like last year. Yeah, that shit was yeah. crazy. That's, that's what's up, crazy. man. That's, that's huge. Cool. That's major, dog. Crazy. Big congrats. I'll probably be out there. Energy boy. Yo, that energy off of that. People don't know, but like when you get on stage, dog, like. Every eye is on you, bro. Mm-hmm. Oh, and the man. lights that's behind me mm-hmm. is in your eyes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, right. And it bounces from your eyes back onto me. Yeah. Dude. So when I jump on stage, that shit is amazing. Like, dog, the music be so loud sometimes and the people be so hyped sometimes. You'll feel the stage moving <laughs> up and down. Like, Yo, you'll crazy, literally bro. feel the pulse of the place. Like, that's crazy. Damn. That, that, that should be amazing. Be, that's that's be amazing. Eye, and then bro. it's raw because you control it. I tell yeah, you, you like, put your hands up, you putting your hands up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, right. I tell you, go like this, you're going to go like this. And that wind, you're going to feel that shit, bro. Damn. So that's crazy. that shit be lit. Rolling, yeah. I think it was like 50,000 50, or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. your big, man. That was my biggest show so Like, because you, you, and that was a quick jump mm-hmm. too, because you went from like performing at Revolution with yeah. Billy Blue. Yeah. And then, and Lupe well, yeah, and Revolution Lupe. is dope. What year was Rolling Loud? The, uh, the first one? The first first one, I don't remember what year that was. Them boys took off fast. They did like fast five fast. years, I think. But so like thirteen, fourteen was the yeah, first one. Yeah, yeah, and it was like seven thousand, and that was crazy. And then yeah. the next one was like seventeen thousand, and then the next one was sixty thousand. Yeah, like, that's a huge jump. Then they went to L.A. Then they went to the Bay. Then they did it again, and now they're back to Miami five years later. That Man, shit is crazy. Up. Word. And them that's boys the is the biggest festival. Yeah, like, yeah. Easily. That that year when I performed at the Hard Rock shit. That was the first time a festival had those two big stages at once, ever. Like those two big ass jumbo trunks. Yeah, uh-huh. big ass, that never happened before. Them boys be setting, yo. Know, shout out to them boys. Dopey and T. Tyreek and them boys. Matt. Yeah, big boys. shout out. Yeah. Yeah. Word, word. yeah. You know, I'm going to try to sneak in the back room loud, though. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna pop out, but I ain't. Prof- I don't. I ain't gonna say nothing. I don't know yet. Niggas, <laughs> niggas don't know what I got coming. Nah, Keep it on the hook. No, nah, you got some joints that you've been rolling out. Yeah, and um, I mean you. You got Nick's back in the studio somehow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I appreciate that. And Champ. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shout out my boy Champ. He out man. there in LA now. Yeah. 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 Shout we out was to in the Champ. studio, man. We. Wait. Yeah. We got a lot. You of got shit. that energy, man. You Dude, ever Champ seen that man that. perform? Champ is the most <laughs> charismatic rapper ever. He's yeah. Ric Flair of the rap game. Yeah. Oh yeah. For and real. he knows it. Yeah. That's the best part. He he, he knows his you know his level. Like <laughs> I remember the first time I saw Champ perform, and they just brought him out for a song. Yeah, and it was like that nigga smile. Everybody starts smiling. Bro, champ got it. Don't it. make no sense. Champ yeah. got it. And he just starts. He just starts grooving on stage. Yeah. And everybody start grooving with him. You know what I mean? he just That's my boy, him. man. That's champ, rare. Though. Champ yeah, been my boy That's since rare. day one too. That's somebody else. He been my boy since day one, bro. Respect. And for we that, always man. link up. Always. Now, <clears throat> now, like you said, you know all these rappers from back in the day. Who's the first like Miami rapper you actually did a song with? Mm. I think it was Ransom Note. Oh, shout Ransom out Ransom Note. Note. Yeah. New Orleans it been Ransom Bikes. Note. Yeah. 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 Ransom the homie too. We yeah. we got some new shit coming. We just recorded something okay. the other day. That's what's Low up. Key. That's what's up. If it ain't Ransom, it's probably like Yeah, I think it's Ransom. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. like, yeah, yeah he we can got spit a lot. too. Oh yeah. 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 Sure. yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Now, I ask every artist that come on this question. Mm-hmm. Who's somebody that you haven't worked with but you like you just Fiending in the world, but like you can't wait. Fiending? Mm-hmm. All right, let me not say fiending. Um, <laughs> Somebody you itching to work with. Yeah, who, yeah, who you trying to work with? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> say what you need to say. Yeah. 
fiending. If I say fiending, <laughs> I'd say fiending to work with Sade. Mm. Fiending. Because mm. okay. you said fiending. Wow. Mm. But, okay. um, that would be a collab. Yeah, that would be some You know what? I'm going to actually say shit quick, because you make like some groovy ass. Yeah, the smoothest Yo, shit ever. The smoothest <laughs> shit ever. Hell, Yo, and, hell and holla at me. Yeah, Yo, bro. like, oh I, my God. when I listened to Presidential, yeah. that shit was literally like this. Yeah, yeah. But I like, tend, like, the thing is. 16 tracks are just. Because that's the thing, right? just smooth. All right, because I got, like, certain modes. Like, I got my mixtape self where I just put, like, uh,. Mixtape shit, not mixtape shit, cause all my I don't treat no music like mixtape shit. I don't know, don't, don't take it wrong. Like no, no, no. that's I, your craft. Like That's I don't like I don't even freestyle on beats like that. Like people beats. If I do, it's cause my homeboys really want me to do it, so I do it. But gotcha. I really do all original shit. So like I got modes though, like where it's just an assortment of music and that's a mixtape. That's what I'm gonna call it. Just an okay. assortment where it's like a random amount of music put together. But when I make albums like presidential. Like dreams to see die, yeah. like the ambiance. Like when I'm in one studio and I recorded the whole thing mm-hmm. there, and I made one person mix it. Like I really like take my time with picking it, especially when I make projects like like when you the Dome of Pyramids. Well, I was gonna say when you did the Prestige, the Prestige, that, or when mm-hmm. I did Carrera music. Yeah. Like when I stick yeah. with one producer and I like I was be trying to make like a storyline that's deeper than like. Like, I try to treat it like, you know, like how Jordan play. Like, when Michael Jordan play, it's crazy. Like, his elements of it is sick. Like, down to, like, the shoes he wearing. He gonna wear a shoe. It's gonna be the first time the shoe is, like, put on the court. Like, say the 11s. Yeah. It was the first time Pat and Leather on the court. Mm-hmm. Then he won a championship in the shoe. Then his dad died when the championship happened. So, it's like... Mm-hmm. It has so much depth to the story of just one. It wasn't just that he came out and yeah. gave this much points or no. scored a title. It's just like, I be Everything trying to make wrong. the albums be like, like I don't know. My Multi-layed. shit be crazy. It's cohesive. Yeah. yeah. And like, pres- yeah. The presidential was like, like a manual. Like, it's li- like Dreams to See Die was a manual. Like, mm-hmm. if you really listen to it, and if, yeah. if you like a seven year old kid and you like thinking that what I'm going to do with my life and you listen to it, you're going to figure out some shit because you listen mm-hmm. to it. It's literally like, I've seen it happen. So it's like, I don't know. Because if I were to describe, like, when I'm listening to you and the way you put your work, you a poet, like, for real, for real. And, um, like, and and you could tell it's real. Poets always got the girls, man. What? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. And, like, but it's not just, it's a, you put it together (laughs) and it still got, you know it's Miami, Mm. right? It got that vibe. It's groovy. Mm Mm-hmm. And some somehow you find a way to have a knocking ass beat still, and still just be grooving. Dog. Cause really? like growing up in Miami, I remember when I couldn't go outside. Like I was too young to just go outside, and I used to be mad as hell. Cause I hear so much shit happening outside, and I want to go outside. But every car that passed by, you hear that rattle in the trunk. Like you oh, hear yeah. that shit coming by. Mm. Ever since I was a kid, that was like my favorite part of music, bro. Like mm. then you get a whip and you got two twelves in the back and it's rattling people chests in the car. Like yeah. I love that. You right. feel me? So yeah, every beat that I choose, yeah. <laughs> it gotta be able to get played. Even if right. it's a, a song about women, bro. Like mm. just a clean, clean cut, no cursing. You could turn it up in the car and not mm. even notice. Like you'll right. be walking by and think you jamming something else. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Bro. But I gotta be honest. As, as as somebody who has two twelves in the in the trunk, dog, I, I appreciate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I appreciate yeah. people. You know what I'm saying. For, With the thought of that word, cause yeah. you could tell, dog, like, cause like, oh, niggas made the, designed it so it could thump. You know what I mean? You listen yeah. to music in your car ninety percent of the time. Word, especially Most niggas got a system now. Word, especially when you're in the south, dog, cause when you. Like niggas up north don't be driving like that, but down here you spend a lot of time in, in the whip. Yeah. What? And, you know, My music don't come out until I do the car test. Exactly. I be riding to shit for months mm. before I put that shit out. Like months, bro. That's and what's you can up. Tell months. It's thorough. Yeah, yeah. Your, your album works. They're polished. So Word. if you go on Apple Music, Spotify, mm-hmm. you on Google Play, oh, right? I'm on everything. Everything. Yeah. yeah. SoundCloud. And, <laughs> and a big shout out for the cover. Oh, Luke. Uh, uh, yeah, shout out to Luke. Luke he, do um, most of my, mostly every uh, cover. He, yeah. he um, photoshopped him in Tool Song Love Child. No. Oh, that's not him? Mm-mm. Who's was, that? Uh, Henry De Christopher. Like, it's oh. another Haitian. Like, he crazy. He was <laughs> lit. He became president, but and he built the um the Citadel in Haiti. That, um, that, that shit on the mountain. And yeah. He killed himself before his enemies came and killed him and his kids. Wow. Yeah, but he was he was on some shit though. You gotta look him up. Nah, I, I saw that and I was just like, dog, this picture hard. And Luke literally 
told me to stand right there and let me take a picture nah. with a phone. Yeah. Took a picture and 30 minutes later, the nigga turned me to an oil painting. Uh, yeah, that amazing. shit is dope as fuck, well, bro. And it's a dope yeah. album cover. Yeah. And it's yeah. a statement album cover. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to Lou, man. He was on the um, podcast as well. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Sylvan. He was on the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Shout, shout out to yeah. Sylvan. Sylvan was on the podcast. Shout out to Mark. Yeah. Shout out Mark. He was on the Home. podcast. Home. Yeah. He was back. Yeah, yeah. and that's presidential with a Z. Yeah, yeah always with a Z for the Zos. Hey, mm-hmm. Mark been on Thank twice. You. Yeah, yeah, Mark been on twice actually. Yeah, mm-hmm. he is. Yeah, we waiting yeah, that's on home team. That's home team. Word, that's word. We waiting on Mr. Raven Miyagi. Yeah, what's up? If you out there, now Curry is like through. a legend. Yeah. I was out yeah. there in Europe with them boys. Oh, dog, he Man. owns Europe. Yo, it's crazy. For sure. Yo. Crazy. I seen a couple. Of, I seen a couple of the little IG videos yeah. when they no. were out in that like un, it was like a club in London, like an underground club, mm-hmm. and he was p- selecting. Oh shit! The guy was like, "I need to be Korea out there." Legend. <laughs> legend. Yeah. Europe is dope shout out Carol City. Bro. Bro. You know, shout out you Carole know what I appreciate bro. about y'all niggas, man? It's, there's a lot of dope music coming out of Miami, mm-hmm. but it's like there's not ne- there isn't like necessarily like a Miami sound. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. when you when you see like Denzel music, mm-hmm. when you see your music, when you see um Sylvan music, like they don't sound they don't sound it's not like, like the same but it, it yeah but it yeah. got the feel though. Yeah, you yeah. Like I'm Miami's saying? energy you just know. is so raw Word. and passionate it, it, that like it, it you, encapsulates, you know the niggas from an area. Where right? it's like each each encapsulates like a different vibe of Miami. Of my, yes. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah. Big Prez, Prez is like you, you vibing, you smoking, or you thinking, Word, are you riding up, or or you grooving. He got the he got, got the thump, girl. but it's it's, it's, it's like groovy kind of shit. Time, bro. You <laughs> see, like it's like it's like it doesn't sound like like it's like one sound because it's not because everybody from different neighborhoods and mm-hmm. then. Everybody from different backgrounds. Like that's yeah. the raw thing about Miami. It's a melting pot. You know word, what I'm saying? Word, like word. it's so many cultures and it's so many like even if like it's two Haitian artists, Haiti in itself is such a crazy island. Like it's so many different parts of it. So yeah. it's gonna be two different kind of Haitian artists. You know what I'm saying? Two mm. different Jamaican artists, exactly. two different American type of artists, and it's still Florida. Because yeah, at the word. end of the day, the content of the music is still the same. You mm-hmm. still you still feel the same you pain. The same thing. You still you know what I'm saying? Like right. it's still relatable on all fronts. And even if like one sounds like this, like Curry's music is damn near rock. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Hit, you know what I'm saying? High energy. Mine yeah. is like low energy mm-hmm. vibes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then you got a guy like Ball Greasy, like yeah. they right. just was on the top one hundred. Yeah. So word, in word. a sense, that's Miami sound right now to yeah. the world. You know what word, I'm saying? Word, like word. that's a piece of it. But oh, then word. like Big word. <laughs> it was like that back too. in the day because you had Ross over here, mm-hmm. then Pitbull, then Flo Rida. Yeah. Three different people from the same place. Yeah. Word, word. You know what I'm saying? And they sound yeah. completely, completely different. different. Yeah. And it worked. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It still worked. Niggas is still millionaires. Like that's the yeah. word. that's crazy. Yeah. The multifaceted niggas. Multi <laughs> Oh, so basically Miami is full of Excellent black people. And also Swiss Army niggas. Swiss Army niggas. Swiss Army niggas. <laughs> right. Ah, hey, yes, I, I would say Multi this family. though. I feel like Miami's dance music. Dance, Sp- oh, dance music. Like, there's nothing like sticking in the I feel like it hasn't gotten its due. Nah. You know what I'm saying? It hasn't. And it's copied. And everybody a lot, bro. doing it, man. It's copied everybody so much. doing Miami music. Though. Word. I think it's gonna come back around. Cause I summertime, it's, it's always oh, it's back in the hoods. It's always a dance. And more, yeah, you know exactly. what I'm saying? Like, exactly. they, don't, they don't go nowhere. Exactly. Like it used to be like when niggas ain't want to dance or whatever. Like niggas want to dance and groove too word. now. So like, See, they, my, Miami's one of those summer, places summer where around, spring break probably. It's in, Miami's one of those places where it's, it's similar to Jamaica where. The, the gangsters dancing too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you know exactly. Like, they're, 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 they're the main ones on the dance floor. Yeah, that nigga that's gangsters, dancing don't fuck with him. Word. Gangsters <laughs> bop better than you. Word. And then it's that point too. New like, York gangsters as don't long dance. as it's Caribbean people, mm. it's going to be dancing. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, exactly. You can't deny the women. Absolutely. No. You can't. Yeah. No, bit. You cannot. <laughs> how, how much does your background affect your music? Um, shit, it do, it do, it do, it does a lot because that's where I look to like get a lot of inspiration. Like, even with presidential down to that cover, like, mm-hmm. I look to that, I look to ha- Haitian culture first because mm-hmm. it that's where a lot, like, the just the story of it every time, like, knowing where people come from in Haiti, like, 
to be here and still be making your moves. Like I got cousins that's lawyers, doctors. I they they doing well in a position. I gotta do well in my position too. Cause at the end of the day, no matter what I do and what I accomplish, they gonna say I'm a Haitian American artist. You know what I'm saying? So right, right. I represent it. So Absolutely. it's like it's in it all mm-hmm. the way. And I don't, I haven't really made no music where like I got compa involved or where I speak Creole much. Cause I don't really wanna fake it. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. not fake it. Cause I, it's me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But. I want to be on point when I do it. You feel me? Yeah, like, exactly. I want to really like. Don't force it. Yeah, I yeah. want to get into it, but yeah. it still plays a major role because I rep it all day. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. People see me out, and that's the first thing they're gonna say. Suck if I say it. Like, mm-hmm. no matter where you at, mm, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Once well, they find out you're Haitian, somebody gonna say that a white person, Chinese, no matter. They gonna say, they say it. <laughs> it's yeah. the same thing with Jamaicans with Wagwan. Well, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Maybe after your next few visits to Haiti. You might, you might feel no, a little for too. sure, for sure. Mm-hmm. No, nah, I got my little cousin. He making music too, and we about to do some stuff. And he's all Creole rap, so that's crazy. Shout that's him crazy. out. Gotta be a- I gotta pull up his rap name. Yeah. Okay. Nigga, I- but that's dope. You keep <laughs> and even, it, you and keep even, it in the family. And, <laughs> and even sampling it, you know, artists like hip hop has always been blended with uh, reggae dance, like Caribbean uh, feel and vibe, and mm-hmm. there's Hip hop has never been afraid, shy, yeah, afraid yeah. to yeah. sample something, yeah. even just put it in a hip hop feel. So yeah. like, you never yeah. know what's gonna come out of that. Just well, being out there. That's the that's the, that's the best part about drum, sampling. Yeah. Sampling so raw, like <laughs> you, when you break down the stems of an actual track and see how much things you could like take away and put this here, put this there, and make mm. this out of this. Like, mm. dog, that's the best part. Like I'm trying to get into producing more too. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's all elements of the music. It's all right. the same. You, know you can I mean? put more into it when you're making your beats too. Definitely. Cause you like it's all you. All yeah. your emotion that you was trying to with the poetry. Yeah, I do that now though. Like when yeah. the, if I'm in a session with a producer and we cooking up right then uh-huh. on the spot, I'm I'm telling them like That's let's why do it's this. So good. Yeah. It yeah. Goes in, and then you and then I'm there it's when it's, I'm there on the mixing level too. Like I'm, Cause I'll you be right you there. The yeah, and, and that's why it's knocking in the whip. <laughs> yeah, I got, See, I'm excited. Right like this around. new, this new project I got is is crazy. It kind of came out of thin air, like just made itself, but it's raw. Like it's gonna be some shit. That's what's up. You yeah. got a name for it? Yeah, Prezi. Prezi. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I did see that hashtag. That's yeah, catchy. Well. I did see that hashtag. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. Catchy. It's like too. after presidential. That's you know. Yeah. yeah. I got you. Okay. Where, Definitely where gonna it? take that shit out. Where did the name come from? Um, I think Gutter named it Prezi, my manager, but it's just another nickname for myself. Right. But it's it's gonna be in another platform now, like as far as a, a tape. Right. It's well, a, it's just different. Well, how did Prez P come about? Um, Prez P. All right. So the P and Prez P stands for Pee Wee because mm-hmm. I always was the shortest out of everybody. So <laughs> Pee Wee. They used to call me Pee Wee, but I wasn't going to have no Pee Wee rap name. Yeah. <laughs> you know, MCP. And, Your bars would have to be. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's Prez P. Hey, it is a, link, is it, is a, link, a nigga named Lil Baby. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a Pee Wee long way too. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I wasn't going to be no Pee Wee. <laughs> but then it's like Prez, you know, just money and just moving like the president. Word, word. I just mixed the two. Yeah. Word, That's word. what's up. Mm-hmm. That's dope. That's what's up, man. We respect that, man. Yeah, man. And um, as far as um, Prezi, like how many tracks is? I mean, I think it's unless like, there's nothing you want to reveal, like who's man, on let's it. Let's get it. I think it's eleven. Oh, yeah. It's eleven songs, and they all fire. So I can't. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's, that's what the fuck. That's a good number. Perfect. Perfect. They all fire. Any all features? Fire. Everybody. Okay. <laughs> everybody, everybody, everybody. Shit. I can't wait for everybody. Shit, oh, man. That's gonna I got be my niggas on there. Man. Right. That shit is fire. Yeah, and you working with like several producers? Or one yeah, one? I got it's a, a whole mix of producers on there. Okay. I don't think I got two beats from the same producer on there. That's what's up. Nice. So I got Pyramids, um, my Shout boy out Neri. Um, Shout out Neri. I got some joints, dog. Yeah. I got some joints. <laughs> my boy Flywalker Law. Yeah. It's fire. Y'all gonna love it. Yeah, I know yeah, y'all gonna rock like, it. It's I'm, driving music and it's it's me. Like it's 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 just another level. I always try so, to take it to another level. That's what's up. Yeah. And I I respect your hustle. Like you got a lot of projects. Yeah. And I respect yeah. that. Like yeah, artists, man. that's real artists that just pump it out. I don't pump, feel like pump, I got pump. enough. I be wanting to have more unreleased music than I got that's out. And I'm a, I, I got that right now. See, that's, that's a crazy. That's <laughs> a good mentality to have. Yeah, because I'm trying to 
keep it going. Like with mm-hmm. every song I make, like I told you earlier, like mm-hmm. I try to make timeless music that you could play all the time. Right. Like, like yeah. How how many tracks do you think you make like when you're doing a project? And then like, cause you do you like narrow it down or do you just like make your tracks? Um, like, all right, this all right we're presidential. I think it was like how many songs on there? Eighteen or something like that. That's a lot. Yeah, about. And I probably made like fifty or sixty songs at that time. Right. You're a real artist, man. Yeah. That's that's right. that's why I was asking yeah. you that. Right. Right. But like, I stretch it though. Like I was working on the album for two years. Mm. But I was uh-huh. doing stuff in between, like yeah. giving myself deadlines on different things in between, and mm. not giving myself a deadline on that. Right. And then uh, just that's a good way every to time I made a song that made me stand up, I kept it to the side. The niggas was like, "No, we gotta drop this tomorrow. This shit's hard." Nah, chill, I'ma right. cuff it. Right. Yeah. Word. You know what you're doing with your work. Yeah. Word. Cause that's a that's a lesson to like anybody trying to get into. You know what I'm saying? Any any type of artistry. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I, I, Cause a lot there is that temptation to like as soon as you make something. You want to put it out there mm-hmm. and think it's like, you know hard. And have high, you know what I'm saying? And have high, high But it's hopes about for time it. and you don't want to waste it too. Like, it's, exactly. You ain't even wasting it. it. Some artists do that though. They just mm-hmm. make songs and put them out. And mm-hmm. that is where you kind of like working towards as an artist to mm-hmm. just be able to like gauge where Like it. Drake. Drake mm-hmm. and Future recorded What a Time to Be Alive in like three days or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know and what I'm saying? Shit hard. And that shit was amazing. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? But yeah. it's not hard to make that type of music when you live in that life. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like True. What I'm talking about is like people True. like you you just starting out. You know oh yeah, saying? yeah, yeah. You you like Cause like, studio costs money. Right. And yeah. Beats cost money. Mm. And mixing <laughs> your music costs money. Cause and never, you gotta work around that as far as how you spending your money and making your money. You gotta you gotta have a plan with it. So right. that should take money. <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? Right. So that's why that's it, why there's so many dope boys in the. <laughs> it's hard, but yeah. that's that's why like with anything in life, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like it's 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 hard to do things. Like you're not gonna go to the gym and lift 300 pounds on your first day. No, exactly. of course not. you feel yeah. me? So you gotta go there tens, twenties, fifty. You know what I'm saying? Keep mm-hmm. going until you could lift up 300. The one day you're gonna be throwing that shit up. You word, feel me? Word. So like so that's what it is with that work. <laughs> it's the same thing with music. Like mm-hmm. I'm gonna make a lot of music. I'm gonna just make it. That's right. my part. Like you See, really that's... making songs is ten percent of this whole this whole thing. Like it's ten making songs is ten percent, bro. Mm. Yeah, that, niggas that's be the thinking part. it's so big. Yeah. Niggas be wanting to like spend so much time on that part, but it's really like mm. no. You supposed to make it, walk away, let it work, let it go this way, let it do that, let it do this, and then you give it to the people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And then when the people get it. It go crazy. Yeah, because you, you feel were so me? thorough with it. Yeah. Right, right. And that yeah. shows how much you love the music. Cause you say I just make music. Yeah, I make music. Like some style. people just make music for the albums, they don't do anything else. Mm. You I do that too though. Mm. I have my moments like No, that. no, everybody yeah, does, yeah, but yeah. you still passionate about making I still music. Make that's music. What I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you got you are, you you got a plan. Mm-hmm. You know how you want your music mm. to be felt. Mm. Or you think you know. Yeah, you just true. try to get it as close to that as possible, true. and then the shit comes out, and then life makes it go even wilder than you can think, y'all. Mm. Cause like I didn't had no it, like I did play that funk. Me and Trav, we met each uh, other in Bahamas. Slapping. We came that's here, a, we did that song in like forty spent. minutes. Literally made that song forty For minutes. Real? It came out video, blah, 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 got a couple views. I got an email. Three months later, it was in a movie. Wow. What movie was it in? Uh, Moonlight. Oh, then three months later, that shit won like oh, twenty nine yeah, awards, like yeah. uh, Oscars, all type of shit. Yeah, and nigga, that song was forty five minutes. Like you know what I'm saying? Like That's crazy. Think of that timeline. Like and then it went to a movie that costed five million and made two hundred million. Oh yeah, they like I can't even. They you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's just a bounce. Like it's just you yeah. can't control that shit. That's what's up. And then in the midst of that, I made another song and it got in another movie in the midst of that. What movie was that? It was Switch It Up and that got in the Florida Project. Like that shit came out. And that shit, like, I don't know. It just happens, bro. Like, so you just got to keep yourself busy. I just make more music, I just make hella songs. Hey, <laughs> big congrats on the um the movie. Thank space, you, thank man. You. That's right, major. Right, right. Yeah, that is fucking and that's major. The beginning. Though. Yeah, it's and the those beginning are two too. critically acclaimed movies. They're not little yeah, bullshit big, Netflix big movies. And not those are you <laughs> critically acclaimed movies. You've been right. featured in Double XL. Yeah, yeah that yeah, was you know, major too. You you you're de- you're definitely getting out there. But if we could learn a lesson from that, that's a testament to being prepared and just doing your thing, like right. doing yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, you know, and honing your craft. Exactly. Like, 
Um, when you listen to this, rewind this back to when he explains how he does everything. It that's probably ain't meticulous. gonna work for you. No, no, no. It ain't gonna I didn't say for copy you. it. But that's his shit. <laughs> make it make it work for you. Exactly. You can make it work for be meticulous about it. it. Be tears. Consistency. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, and commitment. Absolutely. And dedication and God and yeah. nigga, like focus and yeah. freaking sacrifice. Yeah. Like, it take time. Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's worth time. it though. If you love it, you it's with anything, bro. Like mm-hmm. Michael Jordan loved basketball. Kobe loved basketball. Like yeah. they, LeBron loved basketball. Like mm-hmm. if they can't tell you nothing else, they gonna tell you about basketball. You yeah. can't yeah. tell them no different. <laughs> They're not just good basketball players. Like yeah, yeah, it's not just that they can shoot. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. LeBron is a freak of nature. Like, yeah. You feel me? Michael yeah. Jordan was a freak of nature. Like yeah. he was graceful. This nigga could fit in between people. Like. You know what I'm saying? Magic yeah, almost. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? It was yeah. insane. Though, and bro. if you listen to the prestige, it's magic. Music is magic. It's the it same is. thing, bro. Absolutely. That's what's up, man. That intro thing. on the prestige, man. It's real. Wait till you hear like, this new stuff, though. Oh yeah, I got God. some uh, nice. I can't wait. I got that some was chills. I got some shit that gave you chills. <laughs> <laughs> Goosebumps. <laughs> music, bro. <laughs> real shit. Damn. Yeah. yeah Trust we me. About, we about to rock to that, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, for sure. But. We you know, you hit us with that link. We're going to spread it to all our followers. All Definitely. 200 of them. Definitely. Shout out to all y'all. Word. All 200 of them. Hey, but keep word. it going. Y'all don't know how big podcasts oh, get. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. This yeah. ain't never stopping. Oh, yeah. like, like what you said, man, it, it could take 45 minutes, man. One episode, you yeah. get to the right person. Mm-hmm. And next thing you know, Prez in five movies. <laughs> Again. Word. Off the strength. Off, coming, off, man. off the strength. So it's crazy. And it's going to happen, yeah, man. We're going to do our comedy shit. And compares, oh, absolutely. And compares, you know, like, compare I, just, I guess we're I was trying to, trying to get a, uh, Trying to get um, Azamoff on there. What's up? We're, we're trying to, you know, I'm, I've am i been trying to get these yeah. niggas on stage. <laughs> he time. wants me to do stand up. I'm only funny to my friends. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. Try it. That shit. Some drums. But, you never know. <laughs> Boy, I've been bullshitting. Eyebrows and like eyelashes. Man, but, uh, I used to rap. Oh, yeah, Mr. Shout you? out Bullet to Nowhere. Shout out Antonius <laughs> the Great. Put you on track. Humble. Hey, hey, that'll man. make him. Word. I'll let you use He be shit, bullshitting, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. That'll bro. make him do it. He be bullshitting, hey. dog. Please, like, play, bro. please no, put hey, a, a, a fire on this, this man, dog. I miss man, bro. This nigga is If you could bless me with just being a, allow me to be a fly in the wall in the studio. That ain't nothing. Put a man, fire on this man. Nice. I, will, I, I live in the stoop, bro. We be man, in there 12 hours a day. I do not impose, man. Mm-hmm. I would appreciate that. Respect, man. All right, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But we want to 45 thank you. minutes. It started, <laughs> it started here. It started here. For yeah, five, yeah, five man, years, man. everybody planting them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I'm holding an Oscar oh, like a baby. No like, trust <laughs> we, yeah, get, we got a pile of black dude. All right. Man, right move. I, I, right. I this is the next cue. You see that? Don't beard? take nothing lightly. <laughs> dog. Oh no, not at all. Trust me, don't take nothing lightly, dog. Gifts I, are gifts, literally. Yeah. Like it's, it's a reason why it's called a gift. Exactly. I know. Absolutely, man. You man, have to be man, grateful man. for that gift. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Wrapping my gift, I knew it since a baby. Yeah. See? And there we go. A that baby. was one of the questions I was gonna ask you. Like, when did you know? It's like, all right, let me do a lot. But you knew, like, uh, for it. First time I literally proclaimed it was yeah. fifth grade. I told niggas, yo, we're going to be rappers. We ain't getting jobs. <laughs> Forget school, all that. We're going to be rappers. We're going to be entertainers. Let's do man, it. Man, when you do your documentary, man. Yeah, all right. Gonna that's, gonna, that's a story, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> niggas going to be tripping. Yeah. Yeah. I done been through some shit, dog. What oh. is it? I can't get it all out, bro. What is it? Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure, like, a teacher, like, you know, heard you say that. What's... what? Like any teacher, like be like, you know, you gotta, like, um, give you like solid advice on how to get the rap, or were they like, you know, you gotta do a plan B or? I had a teacher. He was kind of cool, but not really like rap. But he gave me a lot of game on life. Like he taught me how to like look at life in a different perspective. Mm. Yeah, okay. I say that much. Like he ain't really like the class. I forgot what I forgot what class he even taught, bro. Cause we learned so much other shit in the class. <laughs> I think it was like an OJT or something like that, mm, like a job up. training class. But he opened my eyes to a lot of stuff, bro. Yeah, I had that, but I never had no teacher with no music so, like that. Bro. Not really. Bro, I, I was always bad in school. <laughs> like, I was always talking and getting kicked out of class and skipping. Uh, yeah, I, I, but my grades was good though. I used to teach, <laughs> yeah. and like, 
half them kids, you know, especially like, you know, you know certain areas. Wanna be rappers. Rappers, now. football yeah. players, basketball players. Hip hop the number one thing, man. Yeah. 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 Most what, popular genre in the world. Well I would what I was always telling them, I'm like, you can't be no stupid stupid person to be a rapper. Oh no. Nah. So it's like they'll be like, now nah, I'm gonna be a rapper. And be like, nah, I'm a, I'm a slack off right now, nah, bro. Nah, like, you hell gotta, nah. Yeah, it take a lot, man. Word. Even the rappers y'all think is dumb are geniuses. Oh, word, word. Like literally mm. geniuses, bro. Because to make music is not, it's not a lucky thing. People mm. think it's like, oh, you do it one hit wonder. Mm. No, bro, no. it's <laughs> not luck. Like, word, word. It, work. it take a yeah. lot to do that, word, and, it, yeah. and it's not even that it take a lot because it really could just be one spark that make it happen, but. It takes a lot. Like, it takes genius. It's a genius moment. Even mm-hmm. if it's not a... You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a genius moment to find mm-hmm. the perfect pocket within music. Like within mm-hmm. sound. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. where mm-hmm. your voice isn't annoying on a sound enough to people to love it. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what it's like to make somebody love a song? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Like, that's... It's not a real thing and you love it. Mm-hmm. You yeah. feel me? Like, or you hate it. Mm-hmm. And if you hate it, that's gonna make someone else love it because you're talking about how much you hate it. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Like <laughs> it makes you somebody gonna something. go listen to it and yeah. now they felt it. Like, mm, yeah. like music. Like can we all got a heartbeat. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Take yeah, it rhythm. back to the beginning, bro. It's music. So sure. to find that space within rhythm is a gift, bro. Like I said, so for people to love it is even crazier. Yeah. Yo, that nah, right there. It's real. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, real. that's real right there. Word. Yo, life is a rhythm, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Am I, All the I, way. Can I get nerdy real quick? Get it. Side random. Go on. Random ass fact. Going, bro. So they did like this study, man. Scientists like put these fucking cameras all over like the rainforest in different parts of the world and mm-hmm. the different jungles and shit. And they left it there for like, I think a year or a couple of years or some shit. But when they sped the videos up, they heard a sound and they were like, hold up, why does it sound like a beat? Mm-hmm. This is real shit. You can look it up. Uh-huh. And then, so when they sped it up fast enough, the, it was actual, like, the trees were making a... That's crazy. And they're saying that's, like, the life rhythm. That's crazy. Word. Man, you, like you, you said, it's a gift. Heartbeat. Told you. That, like, in tune, yeah, so, in tune, you. In tune so you just that brought that rhythm. in. And Told I just you. learned that shit, so that's what's <laughs> supposed to happen. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. A Word. gift. There's a reason we call this a physics study group. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Every once in a while, we got scientific on your ass. Yeah. 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 For real. Yeah. For real. Yeah. be strategizing on your ass. Yeah. 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 <laughs> on God. On God. <laughs> God. That's why I'm so happy I make music. God. Above all things I do, I'm happy I make music. Music bro. lives forever. Because I'm going to be here forever. Forever. Yes. They're not going to get rid of me. <laughs> exactly. All it takes is one person to look, look that up in the future. Oh. Ooh, y'all heard Presby? It don't matter how many mm-hmm. years later. For real. You know what I mean? Yeah. You live forever. That's crazy to you think live about. Forever. Man. You gonna live forever, man. <laughs> I'm here. Here. <laughs> and I'm there. Gonna live forever. <laughs> and you never know, like, I read a story about um I don't know if it's one dude or it was a group, but they made um they they were making music. And I don't know if they stopped making music, but like a song that I put out like Five years ago, had randomly took off in like Germany. Wow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh shit, that's crazy. Word, and they like got back together and started touring in Germany. It was, it was like Bruh. that might happen to me and Anthony. Like, <laughs> we we left. We keep our shit on SoundCloud. We you never know, no, 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 you never know, dog. You never know. And like that's what I'm saying too. Remember we were saying how like putting out music at the wrong time. You never know. It's not really a wrong time because. Mm. Bro, it's sound. Music is timeless. Yeah. Sound travels. And when something travels, that means it's going. It's not yeah, stopping. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So, like, yo, there's light years of space where that sound needs to go. Yeah. Word. So. You can have light years of space. Don't let me get into sound. this. <laughs> An ex- bro, that, 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 <laughs> the world flat. What? <laughs> the world flat. <laughs> Whoa. But, <laughs> yo, they, they, they made two aircrafts to send out to space. With kind of like a, a message on there, and we you know what the message was? What music? Oh yeah, I saw that. It's a it's, it's a, a gold, record. Yeah, it's a golden record. That's crazy. Word and them shits in interstellar space. It's already space, past bro. Pluto or some shit. I think. It's an inter- interstellar. It's not even in our solar system anymore. Yeah. Man, that's crazy, man. Them niggas gonna find that and gonna be like, no, that's gonna change something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. is that what that Rick and Morty episode was based on? Yo, Rick and Morty. Yeah, like... Swifty. <laughs> they heard our music and they came back and challenged our planets. 
Was it? Was that there? It, yeah. I don't know. Nah, I, I can't. It probably wasn't. I don't know. It sound yeah. like it. Them aliens gonna hear that shit and gonna be like, "What you said about my mama?" Yeah. They gonna pull up. <laughs> Who is young thug? <laughs> Bring us flesh. little baby. <laughs> that boy's ever seen some shit in the sky you couldn't explain. Oh, oh all the yeah, time. for sure, man. Yo, I remember. You know, what you got? Hold up, I know you got a story right now, dog. <laughs> Y'all see when, 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 when them boys say I'm starting to see spaceships <laughs> on Vegas. I was in Atlanta, bro, driving <laughs> on the highway, bro. Oh shit. Yo. Oh shit. And I'm so happy because there's three people in the car and two of us seen it, so I wasn't crazy. Nigga, oh, okay. Yeah, that okay, feels okay. Driving, Confirmation, dog, and I'm on the phone <laughs> and like. I'm using GPS on the phone at the same time, so I look down at the GPS, and I'm on the GPS, and right when I look up, bro, right when I look up, dog, we on the highway driving <laughs> straight. Right when I looked up, that's why I thought nobody saw it, you uh, feel me? Right when I look up, dog, yo, <laughs> yo, like green and blue fire, dog. What the A fuck? big ass light going down, like the way, the direction it was coming. Uh-huh. It, it wasn't even like something falling from the sky. It was like dog, like, like dog. It was that shit driven. just went down like this, and it disappeared, bro. That's wild. Swear to God. And like, as soon as Ooh! I seen it, That's and I tell you, green and blue lights. I'm like, what the hell? Bro, as soon as I seen it, like I, I was, was so gone. dumb. I'm on the phone. I'm like, dog, did you just see that? And I'm telling the person on the phone, you know, I'm like, dog, what the fuck? And then right when I said that, yo, that's how crazy, yo. In that that's moment, crazy, you feel me? Yeah. I'm in the passenger seat of the car, you feel me? And right when I said that, my homeboy in the back seat was like, dog, you saw that shit too, right? Yo, I know I wasn't tripping, dog. You oh, saw that? I'm like, yo, I thank God somebody else seen it. Oh, nah, damn. I got now to the crib. Crazy. I got to the crib. I went on Twitter and I typed it in. Like, I typed in. Uh, UFO over Atlanta or mm. meteor over Atlanta, dog. You should have seen how much tweets was popping she was up. Going off. Yeah, it's like, dog, that's not no meteor. That wasn't that. That was something. Something was crashing. Something. I don't know. That shit disappeared. I'm like, yo, I'm looking for video. I couldn't find no video. Yeah, because like, it happened so quick. That shit yeah. was crazy. Time were like, this was... One time, me and Luke was outside the crib. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I believe you already. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Already we, we looked up and like two things was just and took off. I've seen shit. Yeah, I've like seen that. that. Two I've little that. ass lights, far as hell, yes. but we can still see them. Like, when shit was like visible. Like, I'm like, how do we still see them? Like, them stars? When we said shit went like this, then them bitches went two ways, then them shit. Oh, I was like, yo, Man. no more, bro. I ain't looking up no <laughs> Can't more, bro. I'm straight. <laughs> They like them boys walking on right. air, dog. Right. They got traction everywhere. Three dog. things in life. I'm going to give y'all one more. Three things in life that we'll never 100% understand. Three. Space, the ocean, oh, oh, oh. and the human brain, bro. Yeah. They're the same. Mm, They're I three agree. of the same things, bro. bro. I agree. Bro. And Made I think that's a, molecules. that's a great thing to leave bro. it on. Leave bro. it. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to leave it there. Mr. Press P, we appreciate you being on, man. Yeah, yeah. Take a bow. Yeah, but before we go, we do have something for you. Oh, man. What it's something doing? we give to only oh, we have a, the most prestigious guest we have on this podcast. What is it? it what is called is the it? EVP Award. Oh, wow. <laughs> and it stands for Excellent Black Person. Oh, let's get it. I should have had a suit on. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, bro. So when you win Black this award, uh, a butler with a you know three-piece suit with a uh, silver platter mm-hmm. presents you a bottle of Hennessy and two perfectly rolled spliffs. So... Send us your address. Expect that at your door soon. Y'all lying. <laughs> <laughs> one, one day. What, one day. One gonna day. We're going to stop lying to people. One day. Oh, we're gonna stop lying. Lying. <laughs> I'm about to get out my dress for real. Yeah, one day we're going to stop lying. But we're going to keep a list of all the excellent black people. For real. Exactly. Oh, gonna, shit. They wouldn't lie about that shit. <laughs> when we I get that budget, that. we got y'all. No, for sure. That ass, though. That. No, I appreciate that. No, nah, you know, you know, shine a light on, you know, the excellent black people that we interact with on this podcast. Sure. You know, whether it be music. We had a chef on here. Mm-hmm. We had um um makeup artists, you know, mm-hmm. just highlighting, you know, mm-hmm. black people period. Yeah, so we appreciate the you. Bro. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Indeed, yeah. indeed. Authors. Absolutely. You know mm-hmm. So every and never forget. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm, I'm, nigga, I'm high. We, oh yeah, I'm there. <laughs> yeah, we was running pretty smooth. We was yeah, running pretty smooth. <laughs> yeah, we gonna have to chop that up. No, hey, real. don't forget, we all some Swiss Army niggas, man. Right. We multifaceted, dog. Multifaceted. Exactly. That's what Get the camps it. stand for. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. We can make it anywhere. Anywhere, nigga. That's wow. what's up. That's what's up. Anywhere. So respect to you. So we gonna we gonna sound this off, Mr. Joe. 
Tell them who you is, nigga. <laughs> well, they call me. Did we even do this in the beginning? We, we did, did we not. Did it, but they know who we be. We jumped exactly. in because we your favorite TPSG. motherfucking podcast, exactly. nigga. Exactly. Bars. Word. But yes, thank y'all for listening. Make sure y'all tune into the SoundCloud, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and everything. And we are on IGTV, so check that out too. But yes, it's your boy, Jormatic, a.k.a. Wave Chappelle, a.k.a. Wavy McGrady, a.k.a. Loud Pat Chopra, Ooh. a.k.a. Black Galifianakis. Damn it. A.k.a. Damn. NDN, no do rag necessary, natural wow. waves. Hey. Wow. Oh, wow. Don't let me cut my From dress. From three, six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you believe it. I believe you. Don't let me cut my dress. I feel the same way, dog. I'm like, <laughs> y'all don't y'all don't want me in the game. But this is Flaka Zulu, a.k.a. Sir Black the III, a.k.a. Pablo Escovich, a.k.a. No More, a.k.a. Stop the Violence. Bro, bro, bro. And you know it's your boy, I seen Black, aka Black Dynamite, aka Wade Bixby, aka Holy Pacaroches, hey. aka <laughs> You can always bet on black. <laughs> AKA Swiss Army Nigga. Swiss Army Nigga. Swiss Army Nigga. Bob. <laughs> and it's your boy Press P. I ain't got no AKAs, man. You know what time it is? Prezzy coming soon. Hardest thing you ever heard. Say it louder for the people in the park. Prezzy coming soon. Like AKA Prezzy. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let y'all. Good night. Love.